Hey hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be going over five AFK money making methods that you can do at a few different levels. So let's just get right into it here. To start off here, a very simple AFK money making method that has no requirements is grinding desert goat horn. Now there are a few different actual things that you can grind with the pestle and mortar. However, the desert goat horn is the cheapest and has no requirements. So on average you can make about 90 to 110k per hour, so it's not a lot. However, uh, it's very AFK, it's almost like a minute you wait here before everything is grinded, and it has a pretty low cost for items in the beginning. So you can do this at a very low cash stack, uh, at level 3 pretty much, and it's just a really easy way to make money in the early game. Now you can actually click the pestle mortar a bunch to speed everything up, however, uh, letting everything run AFK will let you make about 90 to 110k per hour. So let's go do price check between 27 uh, desert goat horn and 27 goat horn dust. And it's about 1.7k are getting per inventory. Alright, coming in at number 4 is smithing iron dart tips. Now this is an excellent alternative to smithing cannonballs. The money per hour is pretty similar, but the experience is generally better. By doing this, you're going to get about 20 to 25k smithing experience an hour. It's not amazing, but still better than cannonballs. On average, you're going to get about 125k to 150k per hour. Now this does have a request requirement of tourist traps, so you have to keep that in mind. However, once you start the process, it takes quite a while for him to finish creating all of the dart tips. And the smithing level required to make the iron dart tips is actually quite low. Now you can smith about 900 to 1000 bars an hour, which creates 9000 to 1000 darts, which you can sell for hopefully about 150k profit. So again, not huge amounts of money, but still an excellent alternative to cannonballs. And you'll get a little bit of smithing experience along the way that will help you get uh, through those early levels. Because at early levels, 25k smithing experience per hour is not actually too bad. And then you'll be able to access the blast furnace uh, pretty quickly. Okay, coming in at number 3 is creating unfinished potions. Now this method is by far the least AFK, but I'm putting it in here because it can create a huge amount of profit depending on uh, what you buy the ingredients at. So normally what I'll do is I'll run over to a GE Tracker and have a look at their unfinished potion page. Now currently the Avanto potion is going to be the most profitable and that is what I bought. And I'm not going to give an exact profit per hour because this can vary so much on what herbs are available to you, what the prices are at currently, and just a few other factors. But it's pretty simple, you just use a vial of water on the clean version of the herb and you'll create some unfinished potions. Again, pretty quick. However, the amount of money you can get per hour is huge sometimes. I've gotten 1.5 mil an hour doing this at some points, but you'll easily be able to get four or 500K an hour. I would personally recommend trying to get uh, to about 60 herb lore to unlock most of the profitable herbs. Avanto, I believe, is like 56. One of the drawbacks of this method is it does require a bit of startup cash to begin doing it. Some of the herbs are kind of expensive, and since it does create the potions pretty quickly, uh, you'll need a, quite a bit of cash to begin doing this, but it's totally worth it. Another drawback is you will not be getting any experience. You can get experience by creating the potion, however, it's rarely ever profitable. And you can also get experience by cleaning the herb, that is the opposite of AFK. It is probably one of the most click intensive things in the game. So unfinished potions, definitely the way to go. Make a ton of money doing this and then get herbal experience a different way. Okay, coming in number two is one of my favorite methods to do and that is AFK and gargoyles. Now you will need a slayer level of 75 to do this as well as probably 70 plus melee stats. However, their drops are extremely good, especially if you're an Iron Man, you can get tons of uh, resource drops, tons of ores, tons of bars, stuff like that, and coin. I don't have by far max uh, gear or max stats at all, but you can still kill them relatively quickly. Just bring yourself a whip, a defender, some armor, and most importantly is a Guthan switch. Since you are hoping to be there for quite a while, having the Guthans to switch into is very useful. I'm also gonna bring a Slayer Ring for the teleport, Nature Runes for alchemy, and some potions and some teleports. One other thing worth noting is you want to bring your Slayer Helm if you're on task, of course, but I bring it anyway because you have to run past the Baron Spectres, and if you don't have a Nose Peg or a Slayer Helm, they will reduce your stats significantly. So once you're here, it's actually very simple. You just attack them once, and uh, you can AFK for a while while they're aggressive, otherwise you have to check every once in a while when they're dead. If you have two screens, it's nice. You can just check it on your second screen and do all the important work you need to be doing currently. Now they are weak to crush, so if you have an Abyssal Bludgeon that's better, but a whip is very cost effective and still quite good. Generally I try to only do this while I'm on task, however uh, they are still quite good off task. You can expect to make about 400 to 600k an hour based on your luck. Honestly I usually make about 400k an hour when I'm extremely AFK because I'm not uh, optimally picking up the items and switching to a different gargoyle at the exact perfect moment all the time. Uh, if you're not AFK as much, 600k is definitely doable, and upwards of 800k 
if you are prayer flicking and have max combat and stuff like that. Let's move on to the number one AFK method. Okay, coming in at number one is AFK and Brutal Black Dragons, another very popular one. However, the actual spot has become a lot more available since they put a Slayer requirement on it. So currently, the requirements to kill Brutal Black Dragons is 77 Slayer, so it is a pretty high requirement, as well as you're probably going to want at least 80 range to kill them. Now, there's a few different gear uh, setups you can go with. You can go with Void, you can go with Blessed Dehyde, and that's what I have right now. Uh, the Dragon Hunter Crossbow is the best, however, it's extremely expensive. A Rune Crossbow is still pretty effective, but uh, if you can afford an armor one, that's good as well. All you need to bring is some prayer potions, antivirus potions, some teleport to your houses, as well as another teleport to Zaya, either a Xerix Talisman, or you can just use the Zaya teleport, or you can teleport to your house and run to the catacombs, although it's a little far away. As far as gear, I have a Rune Crossbow, Ordium Ward, and Diamond Dragon Bolts. If you have a lower range level, you may want to consider bringing Ruby Bolt Switch as well. However, I find the Diamond Bolts would be totally fine. So you'd be 100% protected if you pray Mage and use an extended anti-fire. They're very cheap and they last for 12 minutes. So it's very simple. You just keep attacking them. It takes, uh, well, 30 seconds to a minute or something to get a kill. So it's very AFK. And you just have to make sure you're not getting into their melee range because then they can actually damage you for quite a bit. However, they'll never run up to you. So as long as you're not standing right beside them, you'll be totally fine. Now they drop a ton of stuff. They drop two Black Dehydes, Dragon Bones. They drop tons of Rune Armor. Uh, dragon dart tips, just a lot of valuable stuff. Every drop will be worth like 20 to 30k almost. So at higher levels, you can get almost 40 kills an hour. I probably could get about 30 or 35 or something like that. So anyway, once you are running out of prayer, you run up top and there's actually an altar right up here, which is very convenient. It uh, helps you save a lot on prayer potions. So you're always going to want to pray uh, Rigor or um, Eagle Eye if you don't have Rigor unlocked. So you just have to run up here restore your prayer, and go back to business. I always bring two prayer potions because occasionally your prayer will run out while you're in the midst of killing one of the dragons, in which case you don't want to abandon ship, so it's good to have some prayer potions then. So all in all, you can probably make uh, between 600 and 800k an hour here, depending on your combat level and how much you are AFKing. So it's an awesome method uh, to do, and even better on a Slayer task. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, don't forget to leave it a like. I always appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.